So, hello YouTube. This will be a Minecraft mod installation video tutorial for Red Power 2. I've been asked to do this and since I want to share the joy of playing Red Power with you, I'll just go ahead and show you how to install this. First to note, you'll require an archiving tool that can handle zip and jar files. I'll be using 7-zip in this tutorial. You can get this for free. Uh, I'll be posting the link into the description somewhere and um, if you already have something like WinRAR or whatever just use that and uh, you'll be able to figure it out. So now let's just get the prerequisites for Red Power. There are several APIs you need to get to run Red Power so Let's just dive in. I'll be posting all the links to all the stuff you need in the description. First, get mod loader. Scroll down until you see something like this mod loader 1.0. Just click download and save the file where you will find it again. I already took the liberty and downloaded all the stuff and put it on my desktop. Next, you'll require mod loader MP. Even though it's actually intended for multiplayer play, don't be confused. You'll have to download this, even for single player mode only. Um, just get it, don't skip it, it's important. So, get the client installation for Modeloader MP from here. Save the file where you will be able to find it again. And last but not least, you'll require Minecraft Forge. Get the Minecraft Forge version for 1.0 for your client from here. Again, save it somewhere you'll be able to find it again. And now we can finally download Red Power itself. I'm, I'll be using pre-release 4, which is the current version at the time of this recording. Just go to alaram.com, that's the author's blog. There are updates and news and bug fixes, and there's also an some kind of FAQ and eternally excessively asked questions over here. So if you have problems, you can go either here or the thread on the Minecraft forums. And you want to download the mod. So up here in the top right, there's a button download Red Power. That's where we go. And um, well, there are several files right here. That's because Red Power is separated into several modules, so you don't have to install the whole shebang. If you just want, for example, logic uh, wiring and lighting, just get those. And the requisites for the specific modules are listed to their right. So if you want to install, for example, machines, you'll also have to install core and world. Well. Get all the files you want. I'll just be getting them all because they fit really well together. Save them and uh, well, that's all the files we need to download. Um, there are some versions for previous Minecraft releases over here at the bottom. Uh, if you want to, you can play older client versions, uh, but the installations, uh, installation instructions should also work for them. But remember, you'll have to get older mod loader and all the other API things uh, for the appropriate Minecraft version. But I'll just be focusing on the current release. So after you downloaded all the files and you are certain where you put them, I put them all here. We'll go ahead and open our Minecraft directory. You'll find your Minecraft directory by clicking on the start button, for example, and typing percent app data percent into your search bar. An explorer window will open and at the top of the new window, there is a directory called .minecraft. Just go in there and you'll see a bin directory in there. We'll go there and here is the minecraft.jar file. That's the one we'll be modifying. I can't stress enough, make a backup. It's a very good thing to do. So I'll just copy that file over here 
and rename it to something like 1.0 vanilla. So now that we've got a backup, we can safely change this file by opening it, opening it in our archiver. I'll be using 7-zip and click on Open Archive. This will open a window like this, showing your um, jar's contents. First of all, we want to delete the directory metainf. Just delete that. Um, that's important because Minecraft will refuse to run if you don't do this. So that's a good first step. Then you'll have to install all the APIs into your Minecraft.jar file. Start with modloader. It's important that you put the APIs in the correct order into your jar file. So open your modloader.zip file and there are several class files. You'll just have to select all of them and drag them to your minecraft.jar file and confirm that you want to place them in there. Then you can close the modloader zip file because we already installed that. Next up is the modloader mp. Again, copy all the files into your minecraft.jar file and you're good for modloader mp. Just close that and open up minecraft forge client. In this archive there are a lot of files, so make sure to get them all. Select all the files, including this directory over here, and also add them to your minecraft.jar file. Confirm that you want them in there and you're good to go. Those were the, the, oh, those were the APIs and they're in the jar file now, so you can just close them now. That. So you'll see that the jar file is now a little bigger than it was before because we ju just put all this stuff in there. Now, go back to your .minecraft directory, like this, and create a new folder. Call it mods, like this. Enter that directory. It will be empty and that's where you put all your Minecraft stuff you downloaded, all the modules you want to install. Just Drag them here and you're pretty much good to go. You can now start Minecraft. You should be able to log in and get to the title screen. Now we can simply create a new world. Let's call it Red Power and create that. And here we are in our new freshly created world. And wow, this one is one of the Red Power 2 volcanoes. And this is a very good indication that it actually worked. The installation seems to be flawless um, because, well, these volcanoes are part of the Red Power 2 world module. So, um, yeah. If you don't spawn on a volcano, um, you can also take a look around and look for indigo flowers or the um, rubber trees. They are all, all of them are a good indication that your world generation worked and that you installed the mod correctly. Well, that's pretty much it. If it did work, that's great. So have fun playing. But in case that it did not work, a good idea to get some help is to open up this file here. It's located in your .minecraft directory and it's called modloader.txt. This file contains the log messages of modloader when it started your game. Usually if there's any problem with starting the game, some, for example, some ID conflicts or whatever, they will be listed in here. If you're unable to resolve the error yourself by reading through what's in this log, you can also go to pastebin.com. That's a 
very useful site for just pasting some text files. You can copy the whole log, copy it, that and paste it into this website dialog. Make sure you have it all in there and hit submit. This will, after this short capture image, redirect you to a new location. Copy that location and paste that when you're asking for help on the Minecraft forums, on LRM's blog or on Twitter or wherever you go for help. Just make sure you have an error log so uh, people will be able to help you. So I hope I helped you with installing the mod and I hope you'll be having as much fun playing it as I do. For some tips, tricks and tutorials you can always go to my channel. I'll be doing some Red Power 2 videos over there and well, have fun and see you next time.